Yeah, this is Ashabash representing for Sandy and Bones TV. More of the people them just like and subscribe our TV. Cause I just a blessing. Manifesting our TV progressing. Yeah, Nyaka Scatter. donation but if you did donate and you know hear me call your name just write back a, a word donate it because me i look now me i pay attention sorry right she now got this she now got that she now got she now got she now got that's what i've been getting is negative 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 i was told that inevitably she will die mommy she's made it this far but history has proven that she will not survive History has proven that she will not come off the ventilator. And I have seen where she has. Yes, she got infected and had to go back onto it after a few days. But at least she got off. So your can't say she never come off. She did. And if she can't come off one, she can't come off two. And if she come off three days, she can't come off four. Because she did make it four days off at one point. But she got infected. She had seizures. And she went back on. She came off for another two days. She came off for a day. She can do it here, do it there. But the, the fact of the matter is, I was told that she would not have gotten to this point. So we have to look on that. But all we got was 1%. 1. See it? 1. So 1%. So what is 1 US dollars? If you even have 1 US dollars, donate it. One, it doesn't matter. You understand what I'm saying? That's the that's the power of having something opposed to having nothing. She had nine cardiac arrests, nine, nine time our heart stopped, which means we had nothing at that point. There was no life, but she came back. The doctors fought. God brought her back. God did it. So if God can bring back my child nine times, multiple seizure, paralysis, all of this, and God bring back, God heal her spinal cord. Now she can move her foot them. She can move her hand them. She can move, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle her body. We go in there, Mr. Kaylan, you can whine. You can still can whine. If I ever post one video with Kaylan, I whine. Every little picnic wine. I mean, I want nobody come tell me about what you're wine up herself. Everybody come here wine from me about three. This is Jamaica. Wine is our culture. It's part of our culture. I'm gonna post that's I'm gonna post a video with Kale and Whining. I think I'm gonna post. Let y'all see. Whatever who want naysayers will always be naysayers. But I'm gonna post it, make no see. And she whine her in the bed. And she whine her little body. And I bust out a laughing day. Okay, I'll whine up her little bam bam. She move. She can't do it as she would normally. But, you know, she, there's movement in her bottom. Go around, you know. So, you know. It is it is a joy. Yes, Slim Thick, you can donate from Jamaica. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So, do you ever find... All right. Hello. When I was small, quick synopsis. Let me give you a quick run back into my past. When I was small, my mother used to make me go in at every little whining competition. Every minute, me I win prize. For what? Wine. I used to wine up myself. It never met me dunce. I went to Merle Grove High School. I graduated with my two little subject them. Even though things got rough along the way, never have no book for school, never have nothing. My mother never have nothing. And the truth, I'm going to be honest. I didn't have any books when I was going to school. Didn't have any books when I was supposed to do exams. Didn't, school fee wasn't paid. All of this. My mom left Jamaica when I was still in school. Starlight donated. Thank you, Starlight. God bless you. 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 Starlight just donated. 
Yes, yes, she did. My mother love dance with you. Love wine, her slow wine, and her, and her head back so. And her pat her front. And the pan. On a long out her <laughs> Somebody on this life know my mother. <laughs> my father got church now. She done broke them big wine there, but she with a small wine. Right? And I used to go into all kind of competition. I used to whine in competition. I'm mean, not telling a lie. Oh, no, nah, beat me. Kaylan can dance. Kaylan a big dancer. I'm mean, not ask Christ. I can I tell you, no, Kaylan can dance. I think I have a video of the last time we went to Carnival. It was not last year, the year before Carnival. When my sister was, um, family was here and stuff. And we all, all of our family, we got Carnival. And we brought Kaylan. Um... We never bring Shy and Shy was too small, but we brought Kaylan. And when I go, I see picnic. I see some white picnic and some rich people picnic. A carnival with the big people there. A masquerade and a parade in a them little panty outfits, them costume. And they're a carnival. And I, we went. And that was Kaylan's first carnival um, year before last. And she was. Well, gear up after she turned 18, she got Trini Carnival, you know. And I would have let her go. I would have let her gone. So this year, she would have gone to Trini Carnival this year. Um, you know, she wanted... This year, her plan was to go to um, Trinidad or Barbados or Barbados. She did say she and her friends, there, where she graduated school from, they were all planning on going this year for her birthday. And I was going to accompany her. But I was going to let them go and have fun. Right? Yeah. So, you know, people, let me tell you something. People will tear you down irrespective. So here's somebody saying that, you know, leave the lady, make she post what she want regardless. Good, I'm um, going to say good or bad regardless. Yeah, people going to say good or bad regardless. You know, it's, it's people are going to talk about you regardless, irrespective. This is Jamaica. Where dance hall is our culture. And even though they fight dance hall so much, I used to be a dance hall um, artist. And me can have only clips with me and perform and thing. And my music was raunchy. It's what I grew up on. And it's the truth. So people like to tear it down and tear down. I, I am I am I am not I am I am for dance hall. I'm not against it. I am for dance hall. It might not be my lifestyle, no, because I have now chosen a different path. But it is what we grew up on. Right? It's what we grew up on. It's, our, it's a part of our culture. And you know, it's sad to see that they're trying to change what makes Jamaica, Jamaica. Dancehall is what makes us Jamaica. You know, reggae music is what makes us Jamaica. Our food is what makes us Jamaica, you know? Our people, our culture is what makes us Jamaica. And to see that they're trying to filter this all out into the American way of living, you know, the African way of living, which in Africa and Jamaica is fused together because we're coming from the same background, technically, right? So, you know, but what, but, but even though we're coming from that background, Jamaica is authentic and unique in its own self. And dancing is, Jamaican dancing, listen, the way me used to whine, you that think, whining you know, out that when we got road with my mother, my mother used to say, little girl, I can't keep still. Every, every sound me hear me a jig, I made it bright. Me never have a book, I me still pass CXC exams without books. So tell me, say me dance. Can imagine if me did get the help of me, the one when me I got school. Talk truth. Whether you love dance or whether you love party or whether you, it don't make you no dancer nor no brighter. We see people who are sending picnic at every every class, every school, every and then I miss a day of school. Me miss whole heap of days because I was sick in the latter part of high school. I me miss a whole heap. I me still pass sexy exams. So come and tell me. You understand what I'm saying? So you know, make your picnic no dance, you know, make them brighter. What you do, you make sure that they spend enough time in their books. They focus on what they need to focus on. And you give them them leisure time just as when. You have to balance it. There must be a balance. Children have to be, have to be children. They have to play. 
They must run up and down, they must dirty up themselves out of the way if that be the case. When I was growing up as a child, I used to live at James Road, because I ever lived in the worst community them. And I won't say worst, bad. What I mean worst, meaning volatile. Right? Right? Well, you have gunshot. I born a town in you know, Chancel Street, or Chancel, we call it Chancel Street. Chancel Street, or Chancel Street, or Chancery Street, whatever the street one name. Chancel Lane. And when we move from this, we call um, Matches Lane. I used to live at Matches Lane. And funny enough, last year, last year, April, me get robbed at Matches Lane. <laughs> me get, get robbed at Matches Lane. <laughs> oh, my God. Come out of the car park and drive out and right at the stoplight as me turn for go through for go, and I pass Matches Lane. Right at the corner of Matches Lane, me get robbed. Right past Matches Lane, me get robbed. You understand? Because I never have no AC in the car. I wind down the window. I try to catch my breath because the car lock up in the hot sun. And the boy grabbed my bag. My hand, I had the bag on my hand, you know, and had my hand down in the bag. And one piece of fight with me and him. I have to stand up on my break and one piece of fight, one piece of fight, one piece of fight. And everybody just stood and looked. The chain want to see me aware from when I have my chain all along. About... Three weeks ago, them grab it at town. Me come and go, and me never remember say me have on the chain. This is Kaylan's chain. Me take up and put on. And she said, me no family for take off her things. But a Kaylan chain, this me have on now. My one was bigger. Them grab the chain. The chain, when me get too much cussing for say me a wear goal. Them grab it at town the other day. Come never remember say me have it on my neck. And because I haven't been to town in so long. And them grab the chain. Me just, me just, what me do? Can't do nothing about it. You know? Kids have to be kids. We have to make a picnic there, man. We grew up at Jake. When we left Matches Lane, we go a Simit Lane. Go live downtown, you know. And when we left Simit Lane, we go a um, Jake's Road, Mount View. You know, the heart of the gunshot, them. Three Jake's Road, me used to live. Right now, the corner. You can stay up at the top of the road and look down in the yard. And let me tell you something. There was a road peggy when me a picnic there, so. Up and down the road, we ride bicycle, we run up and down, we pay mama lashi, we climb tree, tomboy. I was a tomboy. All over the road. GX Road, gunshot, in at the heart of the gunshot, and then time the gunshot I'll ring out. A GX Road, Mountain View, I used to live there. And when we left the sun, we got a grand spend, in at the heart of the gunshot again. Then those times, there was a lot of rape. Going on in Grand Spain, a whole heap of killing, a whole heap of war. You know, when gas riot, I was living in Grand Spain. Grand Spain. So, me, me no ghetto life, me no poverty life. But that doesn't mean say me did that for don'ts. I didn't mean say you have to kill this. Though, and I have a lot of friends who still live in Grand Spain and they're not kill this. And whole heap of people pass exam, got top school. Amongst the, 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 the quote unquote rich and famous kids. And do well. Do very well. So don't let culture and tradition, um, you know, determine what the outcome of your children will be. Because really and truly, if you grow your picnic the right way and you instill the values where they need to have in them. No matter how much dance them go, no matter how much party them go, them still have to come out to be something great and successful. Nothing can take away from that. Nothing can take away from it. So you have to know, talk to your opinion, and nobody talk to them for you.